Welcome back to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers, plowing into piles of this pasta. Thank you. So what do spaghetti sauce and an amusement park have in common? The Del Grosso family, of course. This large Italian clan runs an amusement park in Pennsylvania where you can ride a roller coaster and then indulge in a spaghetti supper. I mean, come on, you gotta see this. You might recognize the name Del Grosso from the spaghetti sauce aisle of your supermarket. But in Tipton, Pennsylvania, mention the name and you can expect this reaction. It might seem like an odd combination, an amusement park and spaghetti, but there's a long family tradition here. It all started in 1947 when Fred Del Grosso bought an amusement park, renovating the rides and attractions. He and his wife, Mafalda, raised their seven kids here. Living here in the, in the amusement park as a kid was probably, I mean, everyone's dream. Mafalda's mother, Mariana, had a cafe where she served her famous homemade spaghetti sauce, a recipe she brought over from Italy. Fred decided he needed to serve her popular dish to his patrons at the park. He started to make the sauce here because he needed it for um, making it for the different uh, food stands we had in the park. At that same time, he thought, boy, this is a great recipe. He and my mom, a couple of my uncles, started to make three to five cases per day. In 1979, the Del Grosso's built their own factory right across from the amusement park. Now they crank out 26 million jars of sauce every year. If you took all the jars produced in one year from Del Grosso Foods and laid them end to end, it would be as long as the Great Wall of China. They start with a 3,000 pound vat of tomato paste. You're looking at about almost 15,000 pounds of tomatoes just to make one bin of tomato paste. The tomato paste blends with water. Then they pump the slurry to the meat station. Unlike most commercially bottled sauces, which typically will now just use ground beef in their sauce, we are actually still using the old recipe that we've used over 60 years. Which means they cut large chunks of beef and pork. They also add onion. We use about three tons, three to four tons of onions, fresh onions per week. They slice up some celery. We'll use a ton of celery in a week's time. And they grate Romano cheese shipped from Italy. Grandma Mariana would be proud. And get this, the sauce simmers for three hours. Because of that slow simmering cooking process, it gives us a very unique tasting sauce. You could say this part of the factory is patterned after the amusement park. The jars spin around the filling station before they head to their own water park. It's filled at 200 degrees. We're now cooling it down to about 100 degrees. Next, a labeling machine twirls each sticker onto the glass. Finally, a roller coaster winds them around to the packaging department. 130,000 jars a day. In one year, we produce enough pasta sauce to fill the Leaning Tower of Pisa twice. That's over 20 million pounds of tomato products. There's nothing like a plate of Del Grosso home-cooked spaghetti and meatballs. It's served every Wednesday at the amusement park. If you happen to find yourself in Tipton, Pennsylvania, that is. There's not a time that you won't come into our amusement park if you're coming here to visit that you're not going to see one of the seven brothers and sisters walking around the park. More than likely, you're going to see three, four, five of us. And I think that's really, again, what people like about it is the fact that that tradition just keeps going on and on.